Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday the 6th of August. I'm Reverend Nicole from the Parish of Cessnock. It's a privilege to pray with you this morning. If you're following along in your prayer book, our service begins on page 396. The psalm set for this morning is Psalm 99, which begins on page 325. Now reading from the New Testament is a reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Today we remember the transfiguration of our Lord. As we begin our morning prayer, we acknowledge the ongoing custodianship of the First Nations people, who first walked the land on which our diocese meets and ministers and worships God. We pay our respects to the Awabikul, Biripai, Darkinyan, Garigal, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waremi and Wanarua peoples to their elders past, present and emerging. We commit ourselves to listening deeply and the ongoing journey of healing and reconciliation. Morning prayer this morning is recorded on the lands of the Wanarua people. Let us pray. We will proclaim the name of our Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I invite you to say with me the opening canticle, a song of God's mercy. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 99 The Lord is King, let the earth, nations tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion, he is high above all nations. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for holy is the Lord. The mighty one is king and loves justice. You have established equity. You have dealt righteousness and justice in Jacob. I exalt the Lord our God and bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called to the Lord and he answered. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud they kept to his teachings and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a forgiving God to them and pardoned their wrongdoing. O exalt the Lord our God and bow down towards his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Lord our God, our creator, redeemer and sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the New Testament. It's a reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 12. Since then, we have such a hope we act with great boldness, not like Moses, who put a veil over his face to keep the people of Israel from gazing at the end of the glory that was being set aside. But the, their minds were hardened. Indeed, to this very day, when they hear the reading of the Old Covenant, that same veil is still there, since only in Christ is it set aside. Indeed, to this very day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their minds. 
but when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And all of us, with unveiled faces, seeing the glory of the Lord as though reflected in a mirror, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For well, this comes from the Lord, the Spirit. Therefore, since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry, we do not lose heart. We have renounced the shameful things that one hides. We refuse to practice cunning or to falsify God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. Let us take a moment to reflect on our reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. I invite you to say with me the canticle, a song of the blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our collect prayer for the transfiguration of our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son was revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, Give us faith to perceive his glory, that being strengthened by his grace, we may be changed into his likeness, from glory to glory, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this new day. We hold before you all that is before us. We pray for your world and for your church. We pray for leaders of nations. We pray that they may be inspired by you to make decisions for the benefit of us all, that our world may be transformed into one where peace and respect are the everyday values of every person's life. May we recognise the humanity of others and value them as people and as brothers and sisters. We pray for our Prime Minister and our Premier, for local council governments. We pray for all in authority. We pray for your church throughout the world. We pray for the church where it needs to be transformed, where it is wrong, it needs correction, where it is corrupt, it needs to be changed, where it is forgetting, it needs to be reminded. We pray for all who call on your name, for all who are yet to hear your name, for those
prayers that you call to yourself. We pray for clergy and people as they seek to serve the communities in which they live. We pray for our diocese, for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie, for those who support them in their ministry and for their families. We pray for the staff of our diocesan office, for Anglican care, Samaritans, the Anglican schools and our parishes. We give you thanks for the many volunteers and staff who reach out into our communities, whether it be through Samaritans or Anglican care, our schools or our parishes, as they reach out to those who are on the margins of our community, the people in need. We thank you for the many blessings you bless us with and pray that we are a blessing to others. We pray for those we know and hold in our hearts who are sick or struggling at this time in any way. And we hold their name before you in a moment of quietness. We ask your gift of healing for all in need. We pray with those whose prayers feel unheard, whose lives feel untransformed. We need to know that they have a friend. We need to know that God is there for them. Make your presence known to them. Speak to their hearts and their minds in a way that they can understand. And we pray that their heart and mind would be open to hear your word and to answer your call. We offer to you today the places we will be, the things we will do, and in particular the people we will be with. We pray for those who we will spend our time with and pray that all we do and say today will be for the building up of your kingdom. We bring our prayer to you in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. Have a beautiful day, everyone. God bless.